this up. The way I had planned on doing Tony Hawk level tier list was entirely off. So I can like give every level a fair shake and give it a rating alone. And then I'll place it on the tier list like as I go, whatever. But maybe it'll be fun to just sort of like look at these levels together and kind of get some other outside input. Okay, well, let's go to warehouse. So this, this is what I got. Like here, I'll just let you guys see. I thought about this a little bit, but not too much. And I think this is kind of my goal is to kind of like, let's like start looking at the levels and see what do we really need to like rate these i think we can rate all this other stuff like one to ten but i think fun is not gonna be an average of these so no, let's try let's just dive in what kind of passionate um, opinions we could we could voice for each other so i was talking about this with you guys the other day and i think the warehouse the reason why it's the level graphic printed on t-shirts and why everyone can relate to the warehouse and why everyone knows what it is so much is just because it's the first level of the first game right like there's the nostalgia factor there that people associate with the FIP series like oh yeah only real fans know the warehouse but it's like really you no know, if you've ever played FIPS, like you kind of better know what the warehouse is because like how can you not it's the first level so unless you like went to a friend's house and just hopped in mid-game or something but I don't know to me like maybe this is like like a not not a good take but i feel like warehouse is kind of average at best you know i mean i don't think like how do you quantify a good level it's not like how big it is it's not how many rails there are versus ledges or something like so there's already some kind of like design blunders right there's like certain things that we try not to do right away is the quarter pipe grinds that lead directly into a wall because when you do that you're just when you have a grind that goes into a wall the designer has to place an extra vert an extra segment to we used to call them kinks you kink the rail kink it from the wall so you actually just don't go flying straight into the wall and bail so that right there it happens like basically every quarter pipe in this level leads you to a wall and you know there's no wall plant and wall plant should be a fail safe you shouldn't ever rely on it um there's not much flow but i would say there's a good amount it basically has like a l like you have this like I always look at levels from a top down view in terms of like their shape. So basically like a um, usually ends up being like a letter or like a circle or over oval or some type like. Um, so if you look at the level from top down, you come from the roll in. And so it's kind of like the short version of the L. It starts here. And you can go over or through or under or whatever and you land on this rail and then it, the right angle forms the other part of the L. But the, the L doesn't, I forget you can't roll in from a grind balance on a quarter pipe in this game. Um, but so once you get to the end of the L, that's it. Like it doesn't, like it offers you nothing over here. It doesn't spit you this direction. And this section is kind of, it's always been confusing to me. This seems like a designated section for a collectible. Like this serves no purpose up here other than maybe looks. Like what, like what are we, what are we kind of doing up here? this grind on this quarter pipe leads you into a wall both ways there's no like hidden bowls to session you can't hang out up here there's no other half pipe other quarter pipe to make it a complete half pipe there's no bowl there's no circular motion there's no feeding in and out whatsoever so i'm just i like not saying this is bad it's just looking at this objectively like what are we doing up here so when i think about a first level for tony hawk in any game I think of this level being perfect, right? We kind of all do, but I think objectively, I would like, I'd throw hanger in the ring um, as it, it's a little bit better. There's less segmented quarter pipes. It's very broad strokes. There's very large um, obstacles that are very easy to read. I mean, this one is too, but like, I don't know. The best part about it is that the fact that you start, oh my God. You start up here and it, you're like, you know exactly what to do. You're given a room, uh, you know, with four walls, but there's two big glass nuggets where you can like, okay, I'm going to crash through this and like, whoa, roll in big jump. And that's an exciting start. And then you, you get caught by these quarter pipes. And then you, so you go back and you roll back and do the same thing again. The taxi, I think is like iconic in a weird way, but I just don't feel it adds to really anything because if you catch this taxi, any direction it puts you somewhere you don't want to be you usually land on this so your momentum is scuffed and you end up going backwards or you jump into this and you're just like wait i'm gonna grind this quarter pipe at a right angle and all my speed is gone 
I feel like I want to give this level, I want to rate it higher because it's so iconic and, but th thinking of it in terms of like fun and like flow and replayability, it just, I just feel like it doesn't really offer much. Maybe it's because it's so small. Maybe it's because it doesn't flow that well. Maybe there, there's not that, th there's no options. You're kind of, this is it. So I don't know. I would probably just give it a five maybe even a four i wouldn't consider this above average right on a scale of one to ten if you guys could rate this on a scale of one to ten what would you say yeah i'm i'm gonna torn it's hard this might be the hardest level to rate i say with flow i give this like a four um the flags like we're missing some kinks on rails you can't grind certain objects s tier even if it's five out of ten see i don't think so like i can't in terms of longevity and replayability, I like I can't, especially we're talking about Tony one levels played in Tony one, not like on Thug Pro. Right? I would rate the levels today the same as I would back then. So let's just give it it's fine. Like I get pff, let's give it a six flags. I'll give it a six because it, it missed some missed some rail kinks, you know, non collidable walls and stuff and I don't know, but I'll give it a six because they did kink out the rails that lead into the wall. Attention to detail is kind of the same. So I don't know, five uniqueness. I mean, the two roll-ins is pretty iconic. I don't know. So maybe it is pretty unique. Fun, five. I think that's a like, that's pretty much the overall. Yeah, the overall rating I would give it out of a 10 is five. Unique, let's give it Let's give it a the eight or 7.5. So whatever, well, this is kind of just a kind of a bogus column, I guess. Oh, I guess I could uh, put it in a tier now. I feel like, um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna give it a C tier. Okay, so school, like, I think all my bias is gonna come out, but this is like what this is all about, in my opinion, is just like my opinion on paper, really. So school is in my top five levels. Like, I just love this level. Like, there's a there's a nostalgia factor here, because I remember watching an I, a, a preview video on IGN way back in the day before the game came out and we were watching kareem campbell bust out and this level was like oh my god like look at all this like not warehouse footage and not chicago footage so this is what i love so much about this map is that it's not a straight up circle but some of, some of the best levels are just circles right circles with options coming out and like that that i think is the key to a good map a circle but not obvious because if it's obvious, then you just end up with Rio. And so if you start here, you can already see the shape through the level. And like every, like with at every part of this circle, there's options. There's here, you can go here and like, and then like within that there's circles within circles, right? And so, and you could even just session this snake run and there's links to go, cut across the middle. Now it kind of looks like a suspicious drawing of sorts. And then there's the whole rooftop section. And then there's a gym section. And then there's this back. There's just like so much going on here. And so there's not only is it, so it's school themed. We have a pool section. We have a gym section. There's a back alley section. There's planner section, which covers the whole like skate culture. And like everyone loves the skate planners of different heights and whatever. There's a giant handicap rail here. There's a kicker gap that's straight up. It's perfectly lined up to come down on the down angle. And this, this hexa kicker is also lined up to go downhill. Like when you come down and there's a dip, there's just so much going on and so much going for this level. Even if it's not a, the best for high scoring, it's where I set all my high scores, but it's, that's not even important because outside of it, there's so much more to do. I mean, even just this piece right here, the wallies and the grinds and the shuffle up top, even if it's not just in Tony Hawk 1, just going back and forth from here, skating back and being able to go up and you could just session this all day long without even touching the other 80% of the map, which you could also session all day long. And up here, you know, and then same with, with here. <laughs> Like there's just so much, this is, I, I just, I like cannot gush enough about this level. Like, I think, I don't know, it might be, it's not like there's some levels I hold, um, like a little bit more near and dear, but I don't know, like maybe it's the nostalgia hitting hard, but it, it just feels like it's so perfect. Something else I really appreciate about is like, especially designing levels, like later on in the series is like 
when you're a designer and you're throwing down level geometry and you have constantly artists and producers going like, what's that going to be? What's that going to be? Why is there a thing here? What is that? Is that an AC vent or is it a, like you look at this thing, it's like, this wouldn't be at a school. This has nothing to do with school yard, anything. It's just a, a, a fun box. Like, you know, just deal with it. And then you look at a section like this. Well, what are these quarter pipes? And like in Tony Hawk one day is like, oh, there's quarter pipes, deal with it. Like there's chevrons showing where it starts and chevrons showing when it ends. Like, this is it, like deal with it. There's so many liberties taken with just like, this is fun, deal with it. And like one of the best calls is making this steep ramp skatable. Cause you know, somebody along the way was like, yo, this is probably a bug. You shouldn't be able to stand on this. But then the designer probably had to fight back and was like, but it's a totally sick ramp. Like it's, it's something that could have not been gameplay, but it is gameplay now. They could have just easily turned this into a long bike rack or a handrail, something that you couldn't jump off of, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a video game. Let it video game. Exactly. And that, I think, is a huge W. Yeah, and I don't know. I just love this piece. Like something about grind, Wally grind. It's just such a, a, an amazing feeling in Tony Hawk games. And like this piece is like... Um, just like a testament to that it may seem like kind of like dumb and obvious but like in tony one days when you're kind of like discovering what's possible like you can't do this in many places and it works really well and something else that was a huge um you can go up this quarter pipe and land on a rail finding quarter pipes that land onto a rail was like really hard and difficult and because like, i mean you know no manuals no revert no level out so if you can find a way to like incorporate a vert air into a combo that was like a huge deal and so this is one of the places where you could do it i remember i used to play as jeff rally g off and my combo line would start over here and it's crazy because i remember seeing videos of people like actually busting in this game and their line would also start start here i would jump from here double hard flip land on the ledge jump across here, land on this le ledge, grind, and then jump, land on this ledge, grind. And then I'd either trick out or I'd try and grind here, depending on how bad balance was. And then I'd just like dismount here. And that was my combo line. Like that was the whole thing. I'd get like 120 grand, maybe, you know, 80 grand, something. Something that I, I, I didn't like about this is that you couldn't get up here. There's an invisible wall. And like, I get it because like, if you look on this roof, like there's nothing over there. So if you allow the skater to stand on top, then that means the artist has to go in and spend two weeks arting it, making it look pretty. But if you ask me, I could have just copy pasted for somewhere else. Maybe just put up another wall, blah, blah, blah. And like just dealt with it. But it's a small, it's a small like gripe. Oh yeah. Also like they can get on that walkway. Let's also not forget about the, um, the giant roll-ins like look at these giant ramps that you start in on i mean like who doesn't love basically being the first level to goldfinger superman and then come in the, in the school to suicidal tendencies or what what was it um new girl right suicide machines and doing a backflip off that giant kicker onto the uh the planner here and kicking off your run with like 20 or 30k so anyway this place is kind of useless you can't really session anywhere like if i was just raiding this gym I would give it like a three or something. I mean, I just went up that quarter pipe and hit the ceiling. It's like, come on. I would have, um, actually what we did do, I think in Thug 2 was we we moved the, uh, the quarter pipe back from the wall. So when you went up it, you would go through the, the glass and you can go through the roof. Either that or remove the glass too. Or maybe it was both. Um, anyway. So yeah, there's not much going on here. I would say that like the inside of this is probably like just as big as the warehouse. So again, size doesn't matter, but it's just kind of like puts in perspective how much more, how much more this level has going for it. Side jump, another side jump. Oh, perfect dismount. So I don't know what else can I say about this level? What am I forgetting? There's the diving boards. So you could try and like measure your, your air album art on the wall. True. This is the, uh, isn't this suicidal tendencies? Yeah, it's like their album art. Back alley behind the gym is pretty cool. There's this area up here too. I don't know if I can reach it. I mean, hey, there's another giant one right in front of me. How do I get up there? It's like immediate like carrot on a stick. And it's just like 
doesn't really add much for score or like but it's a great place for secret tape and it's i don't know big airs big ramps what's not what's not to love okay anyway so that's the school i don't think it's the best looking level i think an eight or maybe a nine is fair the flow i'm just gonna give a 10 right away the flags i'll give it a nine in uniqueness it has everything i'm gonna give it a 10. this is almost like a variety column instead of uniqueness because like nothing in this level is like you know you're not skating on a, a pirate ship or something you know but there's plenty of variety here and it's all unique it's all specific to school and it fits the theme and it's then i'm just gonna give it a 10 and it's definitely an s tier by far yeah there you go so let's move on to the mall man i we i think we were stuck on that level for like 30 minutes or something i feel like um the mall and like these linear levels like downhill jam are going to be very divisive here the mall i might be oh, i love linear levels in fact i wish there were more of them and i wish that linear levels kind of were turned into sessionable levels more like i feel like school is kind of downhill but it connects and it makes a circle right um for better for worse like you have to go uphill certain situations and whatever but like i don't know i just like the, like i don't want my hand held but also just going fast and you know like do the sonic adventure or sonic the hedgehog type vibe where you're just kind of like hold x and you just go and grind and take what comes to you you don't have to worry about steering it's that balance, right? You don't want to be handheld, but you want to have the options presented to you in a nice manner where it's not too jarring. You're not jumping into walls and like, like everything here is pretty clearly laid out, but it's still challenging to link together. And like, you still kind of have to steer and know what's coming. There's a lot to learn. You could get the hang of it. And the only thing that sucks about this is that when you get to the bottom, that's it. No teleport to the top. If this game had teleport to the top, this might be like S tier. Um, so anyway, you can see that there's some effort to make sessionable areas like right here. You can kind of half pipe back and forth, transfer under over the elevators, which I think is pretty cool and unique. Go through some handrails, but like, I think there's some music playing, right? Yeah, the elevator music's a nice little touch. But other than that section, there's like the atrium section that's outdoor that we came from earlier. That's kind of it. In terms of session ability you can't really go back and forth or go in a circle anywhere else um like i would have put a quarter pipe right here so you can go back um open space is okay yeah i would also put a quarter pipe here to turn you around i mean the, so the, also there's there's this escalator handrail like so if you go down it i mean you're just getting spat into a wall which is just a, a, you know no bueno um so another thing i think crashing through the glass is super sick I think this is a good placement because your read now is to go left or go straight. And I think it makes this kind of like secret gap combo a little bit harder because now you're forced to line it up and you got to turn and sort of like make it happen. It won't just spoon feed it to you. So that, that, that I think is a good call. And that whole section is super sick. Coming from that, you have this rail to grind. This links up with the secret tape area and like the verticality it just gives you so many options you could jump off to the straight to the straight to the left or to the right you could i think you could do it downward but you can catch the grind on the way down which is awesome and i think you could do it on the way up too in this version right so you can find your way up like that too uh another situation where they could have like um put a quarter pipe like right here so you can go up and then come back and sort of session this area a little bit more. And then maybe even um, try to find a way, like after coming down here, like I would have made Hawk Skate Shop. Instead of this dropping down, just make it a ground situation here. So when you come down the escalators, you could jump onto this planter ledge or there could be a ramp here. So when you come down, there's another ramp for you to hit to jump up, come, come up to level ground, and then there could be a quarter pipe right here, or it could be even further pushed back, set up a quarter pipe. So then you can come back and now you're pointing back at the, at the escalator and you could, you know, make your way back up, cruise back, do this whole thing again, hit a quarter pipe here and then rinse and repeat. So now you have like another option, another hangoutable area. Hangoutable is an area where you can hang out. 
So that's my take. But otherwise, it's still very good. Could leave it as it is. You could ship it like this. And you know why? I know that is because they did ship it like this. And you could bust this whole thing out and maybe you can clear the whole thing. See how close I got. But you could you could tell that like, you know, if you're just cruising through the whole level top speed, you would totally clear that and be super satisfying. So yeah, that's this is the main thing. I want to say there wasn't tech to teleport the skater. They don't teleport the skater, but they do um, kill the skater and respawn. Them. I would rather be killed and respawned at the top than to have no nothing at all. Because retrying the level, starting from zero, starting over the timer is way worse in my opinion. Art, solid eight, flow. I think I'm going to have to give it like the flow is amazing because it's downhill. So you can't really mess that up. But in terms of like options, being able to turn around and session certain areas, it doesn't really have that much going for it. So I, I think I would deduct some points in that regard. So maybe a seven, um, like it almost flows too well to the point you could just burn through the whole level in 20 seconds and it's over. So the fact that you get killed at the very end is no bueno, you know, the flags are there. I'll give it an eight. There's like, when you transfer over the elevators, and under it, there's those handrails that are kind of buggy and you can get kind of stuck. So I'd deduct some points for that. There's some quarter pipe opportunity where you could use a session where they could have, you know, if they had that attention to detail, they could have made these non sessionable areas more accessible. So you could just go back and forth. Um, you know, uniqueness, it's downhill, it's indoor, it's a mall with multiple areas throughout. I think it's pretty dang unique. I mean, I'd say a, a nine or a 10. I mean, I think everybody thinks about skating malls like outdoor, but never really indoor. And I think it's cool that they did that. Fun factor, I would give this a, a nine. I don't know if mall is S tier because at the very end you get stopped. So I would probably have to put this in A or B tier, I think. I think it's an A level. Yeah. The other thing is that it's indoor, which means that all the boundaries are gonna be wall rideable walls. So whenever you're closed in by fences that are not wall rideable or just a bunch of water or like out of bounds areas like that's just it, it just sucks so when you're boxing by walls that's skatable geo that you can wall ride and it's fun and it adds more gameplay let's get to new areas and a way better option so this is my first Tony Hawk experience was this level so this would strike at like a 16 out of 10 on the nostalgia scale I played this first uh, before warehouse because I had the uh, whatever it was the OPM demo de demo disc and not the Pizza Hut one or whatever um, so I don't know I I might get biased with this level but if you ask me I think this was the first level made for Tony Hawk in development this is the the skate park section at the bottom of the sewers downhill level and there's footage of this online that we could find Okay, so this is what I'm thinking of. This is what I think Chicago started out being. Look at that. When you have special, your dude glows. And so if I remember correctly, yeah, see, it leads you into this skate park. Like, you could see the texture set. Maybe this isn't exactly it. But, you know, levels can get changed so much that it just becomes a completely different different level by the time you're done. But you can see the shape of the bowl. You can see the te the texture set. And so you can see that they are like, yeah, this whole like downhill section is not even necessary. Let's just keep giving the skate park. So I think maybe some of the design efforts kind of got lost in the sauce. They're just like, yeah, this is good enough. And they didn't really think of it as its own standalone level after they broke it out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. What I don't love about it is rails that lead into walls, right? So there's two right there. There's one right there. And then there's one on, there's basically one on each wall, like. <laughs> You could just look around and they, all these rails from quarter pipes lead you straight into walls, which is no bueno. But what it does have going for it is like, you know, it's got a quarter pipe. Um, this ramp's perfectly spaced. So you don't land on the up ramp of the quarter pipe in front of it. So you can just hang out and do this. This could be your, your entire contest run. You know what I mean? Just go, oh look, right after I just right on cue, the full stats Tony just lands right on the up ramp. So that's the attention to detail that, um, Unfortunately, is lacking here, but getting up onto the rafters is sick. I don't think anyone can, you know, disagree with that. There's a little rail kinks keep you from going into the wall, which is nice. You can jump the box for a gap. 
I love how you can just skip the kicker and just grind the rail like normal. But if you take the kicker, you can clear the whole thing if you want, which is rad. So what else does I have going for it? I remember discovering uh, in the demo that like, oh my God, you could grind, kick trick, and then grind again. Tony, oh my God. Um, yeah, so that's cool. I loved the, the, the starting point being right here was really cool. How it just like the immediate read is like, you can kind of see the whole park from this uh, vantage point and it's pointing you directly at a rail. So right away, you, I'm, I'm hitting this rail and you hold grind and you hit a different rail. And this was like a mind blowing moment as a new player. It was like, you could just hold grind and spin if you wanted to. And it's totally safe. It's almost like a, le a, a like a training lesson without it being called a training lesson spits you right into that quarter pipe this is a, a kind of a blunder right here i wish there was something to take care of that whether it be a quarter pipe or an angled object that spit you either left or right or something but i think the standards were much lower back then um which is fine but you know here we are this level has a lot going for it uh but also it doesn't i think it's a great use of small space but there's a lot of things i would have done differently and I actually, you know, like I said earlier, I tried to build this level from scratch uh, by memory when I was first learning how to, um, you know, work in 3ds Max and learn how to make levels for the skate games. And uh, I thought I did a decent job. And then later that year, I was assigned to do classic levels. So I got to pick which levels I wanted to do. And I wanted to do all of them. You know, I tried to pick like six. We ended up doing um, this level. So I actually got to use the original max file from this level, um, c convert everything, clear out everything that's obsolete, bring in all the new stuff, scale it to match, and then make it better. And I was really happy with how that came out, but we're not gonna talk about that much more um, because we'll save that for a later stream, hopefully when we um, rate the thaw levels. So I don't know. Anyway, how's a lot going for it? A lot of stuff missing, but the nostalgia factor is way high for me. So I'm probably going to be a bit biased when it comes to this. So let's, let's have a look at our, uh, fancy dancy spreadsheet here. The art is really not much to write home about. It's kind of pretty stock. Like I said, it came, it, all the art could have come from that sewer level that they were working on and it still somehow worked and applied here. I don't even know if this is based off a real life skate park, to be honest. I've never actually looked into that. Uh, maybe it was, maybe it was a temporary thing, temporary demo set up in a warehouse or something, but I think the art is average. If anything, it would probably be subpar. The only thing really unique uh, um, it really has going for it, I think, is like if you look through the windows of the non-skatable areas, it kind of has like an industrial vibe. And then like the rafters are kind of unique, but not, I mean, they're, they're just rafters and lights, right? It's not, it's nothing that great. Um, I think that's supposed to be the judge's booth, but there's a strange amount of people being represented through that texture there. So I'm, I don't know. I, it's not anything to write home about. I feel like the flow, not that great average, maybe, maybe it's just as bad as the warehouse. It's just not much to work with to begin with. So it's hard to like, give it like full credit for flags, but it's there. So it's like eight attention to detail. I think I'll give it a four just under warehouse. So. My, my main gripe with this level is like huge lost opportunity is like these big riser ledges on the edges of the uh, of the map here. It's like such a prominent part of the map. Can't even grind it. It kicks you off. Like I can appreciate that it at least kinks you off and it doesn't bail you. So there the flags are there. It's right. But like, uh, but you know, I don't know. I, I just feel like there's kind of like a lot of wasted potential here. There could have been stuff to skate up here. They could have just even threw um, like another quarter pipe up here. You know what I mean? And you could, so you could cut, jump from down there up to here. And then maybe the, you, there could be a kicker that goes over the judges booth. Yeah, that'd be sick. I, the, to me, that's, I'm spitballing here, but I feel like that would like severely up the replayability on this level, like by a lot. It's not looking good for you, Chicago, as much as I love the level and the nostalgia is there. Uniqueness, it's not very unique at all. Really fun probably put this it's hard is this better than the warehouse or maybe it's the same i feel like i'm leaning towards the c tier 
This is almost why I didn't want to do this on stream. And you guys can like, it's worse than warehouse. As much as I want, like I want to like this level better than the warehouse. But the warehouse is like not that great by any means. But it's a good, because I think mall and school are way better, obviously. I think most of these levels are better than the skate park. But I still like this level. Maybe it's D. Maybe we might have to revisit that, but I think it's D. Okay, so we got warehouse is C tier. And then we got school and S. And then we said mall is A, skate park is D. This looks right. This, I still can't really decide. I think warehouse is better than skate park. For some reason, I want it to be, but the more I think about it, warehouse, I think, still has more going for it. Minneapolis, giant, just amazing, right? First, first impressions. It's big, there's verticality, and there's a lot of different stuff going on here, but it doesn't quite hit home. And I don't, I can't really piece together totally why, but I think its main fault is the amount of open area. So if you come through here, it spits you here. Now you're presented with like, oh my God, there's, there's three options, maybe even four. And I think everyone's kind of inclined to go towards the first rail, which, which is this. And then you, you lead here and it's like, okay, this is great. So now I'm sent back this way and I don't know. I feel like it doesn't make a good use of like this whole, like you can kind of cruise through the streets, not in a combo, you know, no manuals, no grinds, but like ideally if I was designing and working with this space, I would work to be sure this dude wants to keep along this outer part and then maybe split here. Right. And then have, have some options in here or something. But right now it just doesn't really do any of that right i mean this is all empty area there's like big kicker you know launch ramps in the street but that's kind of it you don't even really have anything to aim for after the kicker i think there might be a handrail right here i can't i don't even really remember and that's kind of my point i think it's like there's nothing really going on the, th the coolest part about this whole section here i think is the fact that these walls are giant right so it's giant wall rides that you can catch from a kicker and you can do like a 900 air, which is super sick. Kickers next to walls equals A-OK. -okay. Um, there's no grinds to catch. There's like a short little bus stop. You can sort of grind the edge of a kicker, but that's kind of it. Uh, the other thing is like these are curved. So if you wally at the right time, you could wally again. So you could wally, wally wally as you come down and you could just like keep your wallies going but that's like super super advanced and like even the best players can't do it every time and it doesn't always lend itself to the skater speed you know so you got to be lucky and anyway so my whole this whole section is kind of a bust it, it, it's good in the sense that it's like okay you grind this rail at the beginning and you're like oh look at this wide open area it's really cool this new art and now you have this like fountain fountain ramp and that's like it's new and it's rad and it's kind of exciting, but I think the more you dig into it, it doesn't really do much for you. Like the rails around it are these planners, right? And it has these guys, but if you grind any of these, they don't point you in a direction where you want to go. Like this puts you like in this weird pocket. Same with this one. This one points you at kind of nothing. There's like a handrail here that does like, it's just, there's none of these serve any good in my opinion the only thing that they're good for is if you want to get super creative and technical with the crazy no manual line where you have no speed and you're just getting really super intricate with all the individual grinds and stuff but it's it, it's it's hard to judge based on that because it's like there's it's it's open space that is not i think it's which can be a good thing but i think it's just not correctly it's probably a bad word utilize but it, it has so much potential like I'm trying to think like what could i do differently like i can instead of having this go downhill or it could go downhill and you could have these connect and this would be an overhang so that way when you grind this rail it's like a solid rail all the way across and then maybe this could be angled at a more of a right angle so it spits you with more um more breathing room to land here and then go up in a quarter pipe air, you know, or you could ditch these entirely and make this entire, make this just a giant bowl. 
You know what I mean? There's a lot of different options here. I like the fountain. The fountain works. These planners don't. They're too small. They need to be, like I always say, especially in Tony One, broad strokes. It's, be it's better to have like one giant rail than two little bitty ones. Or in this case, four little bitty ones. Like maybe this should have been one. And then this should have been an elongated, you know, and then it wouldn't have to have this big bowl that I was just talking about around the whole thing. But that's just, I mean, that's just me. That's my, it's just one person's opinion. I feel like this area could be better, um, but let, let's, let's move on here. We can, we can like see what this looks like in game. So this initial part, I feel like everybody kind of remembers this. I feel like whoever was working on this level, obviously restarted in this spot when they were testing it very often. Cause there's like this whole side jump area. We get this rail on the right then you could wall wall ride the wall catch a wally grind the street light and then you're going down this whole like bus stop and that's a missed opportunity with being able to connect that rail and like i think you might get a gap if you gap onto this but it's like this part almost works like we were just talking about but there's a lot of nothing like you can ca catch that rail but it doesn't there's no payoff like once you get up there there's not a bigger better ramp or bigger better rail and there's no real like wall ride i guess you could probably wall ride from this right but, but it leads you right into the wall though it's like i'm i'm trying to figure out what the uh perspective of the design like what do they want you to do here and i think it's just sort of catch a ramp grind catch a ramp grind and like that's kind of it which is not bad but it it does feel pretty stale it would be nice if that was an option two other things that you could do, I think is my main um, complaint. And I don't even know if you could, can you even grind this? I remember making it grindable and thaw. Oh, okay, you can. And then the truck gap is cool, but it's not, you know, not amazing or anything. Um, but yeah, anyway, anyway, like I said, it's like all these ledges kind of lead you to nothing, awkward landings and just like into other rails and whatever it's, it needs a lot of reworking in my opinion, but you know, time, budget, effort, priorities, I get it. It's pretty good for what it is, but it could be way better in my opinion, in short. Feels, area feels better when going clockwise around the fountain. Interesting. Right into that pole. Yeah, I, I think the main thing is like what, I, these rails if they connected like if these rails were at a right angle so they like if you grinded one it wouldn't connect if you went 90s just like it does now but the way it doesn't connect right now now it leaves this whole like i'm like stuck in between rail and ramp and there's like it just feels like recipe for bug central and fixing and like just awkwardness and um despair anger frustration um, billboard extension. Cool. All right. So let's break out of this area. I think, uh, we can go over towards yo Zank. Hey, thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody. We are, um, we're reviewing Tony Hawk's pro skater one levels and just kind of scoring them and just thinking about them objectively. Like if we had a you know, pencil and paper to change things, like what would we do? And just anyway, thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody. Hope you're doing well. So now let's move on to like this cheese wedge. That's what I call it. I think they call it the cheesy deck gap, but it's a wedge, uh, it, it, the shape of a cheese wedge, which I think that that's how they got the name for it. So something that's super cool right away. I'll always preach this to the end of time. Kickers next to walls equals giant wallies. And so you can even get on the roof from here, which I think they didn't really intend for, but um, it's always super sick. When you introduce verticality, especially by way of wallies and wall rides. I mean, who doesn't love that right there? Like that's super sick, right? And then there's gap points, depending on how, what part of the wedge you jump over. There's a cheesy deck gap. I think there's, um, there's low, medium, high. So of course it wouldn't be a fip stream without getting hit by a car. So welcome to the stream, everybody. Thanks for the follows you guys. Um, so yeah, this part's cool. Um, uh, could use some flow work. I think this rail leads you straight into the wall, you know, but if you hold triangle, you, there's a way out but it's a super short rail. Like I think this rail is kind of meant to be a stair set rail, but just in, just for ease of access, they made it handicapped and maybe saved on the poly count too. So I think it's ultimate goal was to do this rail to rail transfer, um, which is okay, but I, I don't know. I just feel like this section could, 
like what would we do better i think if this concrete ledge the lip didn't lead into the wall or if it was angled just right at the end to where it just kicked you into the street i think you would it would have been way better um also does this lead to a street light i would have made this jump into a some sort of traffic light grind to carry you down the street this way um maybe it wasn't possible maybe it just didn't make sense at the time but you always could round out this entire edge of the cheese wedge to where if you grind this you stop the wedge sooner and then it circles around and you end up doing it like basically a 180 degree 180 degree turn so you end up grinding this way like there's a lot of different possibilities um this whole area up here is empty which i think is okay doesn't really need much it does like there's not like something you could do is put a big cut down the middle of the cheese here cheese stream by the way so maybe there's a kicker that like uh i wonder if i could just um do this if we like take a big chunk out of this and now it's a kicker so you can go up here and catch some air maybe there's a rail that goes down through through this cheese wedge so now you have an option of like going back hitting this quarter pipe and coming back hitting the kicker hitting a rail and then going out into the fountain and maybe across the street you could find uh another quarter pipe to uh hit it come back session but right now it's um it doesn't offer much in terms of like options it's kind of like here's a wedge you can grind the lip into a wall uh, or you can jump over it and then we have these rail to rail sections and that's it uh but unintentionally i think the the happy accident here is uh the really really steep kicker at the beginning to a wally that lets you get up on the roof which i think is super sick any kicker next to wall which this level has a ton of is rad so here's another one so let's move on uh this is another kind of situations similar to that back curved wall we were talking about earlier so i mean like here you could session this quarter pipe with that quarter pipe on the right i think there's some potential i've seen some videos um, get crazy with like wally um grind wall ride wally repeat and with Tony Hawk one if you wall ride into a corner he stays in the wall ride you don't bail you don't end your wall ride so there's some people getting super creative with how they're able to like you know do that catch the rail go back do it again and there's so there's like kind of like a happy accident there but to me that doesn't really add much um in terms of like flow or gameplay it's just kind of like a scoring abusable spot um this kicker to rail is pretty rad nothing too great you kind of have to go off to the side doesn't offer much i guess it's sort of a path to the roof but it's even more difficult than just getting a kicker to wall let's talk about this whole area i think the bus stops don't lend much in terms of really anything i think it's kind of like a secret room situation where it's like uh, you, it's kind of a unique obstacle you could jump over it at least this one you can grind but it's like it's whatever it doesn't really do much for me a lot of poles to run into not enough grinds to really carry you through break up the monotony i feel like the lesson here is that kickers don't really break up monotony we need some rails to like intersperse because you have this whole stretch of level with no rails and i think that's kind of a problem at least like kicker to rail would have been perfect like this bus stop rail is way too short in my opinion and this one's kind of out of the way and if you miss it you're screwed you got to like work your way back up again i will give this level props because it's it's an easy trap to fall into when you're designing levels to make everything flat because you're working on a grid you're you're used to like maybe working on a creative park situation you don't think about ups and downs because if you go up or rather if you go down at some point that means you have to get the skater to go back uphill and getting a skater or a user or a player to go uphill in a skateboarding game is not fun. You got to find creative ways to get them uphill without making them go super slow and sludge through it and not be miserable. So I'll give them props that we just went uphill and we didn't even realize, but obviously having grinds in there would have helped it in that way too. So we got the movie theater section, another wedge gap, not so much cheesy, but this area is, is cool. Like I, I would say that I used to personally just hang out in this area. I would do a vert air, um, catch a kicker air, roll downhill, which is satisfying, do it again, and then rinse repeat, you know, and that's it. And I'm actually pretty sure that you cannot um, grind these ledges, but you can in later iterations of this level, like in the later series, like 
it was just like when i was remaking i was like well why can't we grind these this is just like missed opportunity for gameplay i mean it flows perfectly with the way things are set up why wouldn't you do that so anyway missed opportunity there also this rail leads you straight into a wall um it's no bueno and these planters right next to the wall and the plants are collidable it's like kind of annoying um this this kind of felt like a little bit like an afterthought i think it's supposed to be an apartment building but it looks like more of like a, an attraction like a movie theater or a museum but then you go in you're like oh look at all these doors wait what like okay i don't know and then like so the only thing to do here is like you kind of get you get a you get dead ended ended and the, so you get a big fat kicker that's a secret area with one big ramp but then you take the ramp and it just takes you like into the wall and i'm just i'm feels like this building should have been an extended way back so it's like a shotgun layout you know like like just elongate this building like four times so it's like a long linear up and down ramp kicker to kicker situation or kicker to rail or something um i don't know this rail i think they're like well you can use the rail and turn around and you can get lead you back out but it's like kind of a pain like it's not easy to read it's not easy to memorize when you need to jump off the rail to get out it's it seems kind of like a trap there's a 500 dollars score point bonus icon but you know we don't really care about those those are just kind of like they should be icing not the cake so i don't know that this whole house is like thumbs down but this area out in front i love the kick the kicker in between the two quarter pipes so you can just session back and forth that feels really cool i'm into that this area over here felt kind of lame i think this is kind of like you know, in Tony one, you would be in these different train types and they'd slow you down. And I think they tried to pepper in some wood planks to make it like not as bad, you know, so you can actually come from the street to the ramp and not lose all your speed, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know this, this part of the level doesn't do it much for me either. Although it is downhill. And so when you come up here or if I can get some more air, I mean, that feels cool. So you like end up lower than when you started way up here. I think that's really rad. Miss grind. You can't grind. I don't think you can grind this ledge either, can you? You can't grind this one. Yeah, that's annoying. And I wonder if, can you grind the edge of the building here? Okay, sweet. And what about, this just meets with the wall right here. Okay, he kinked it out, nice. A little attention to detail, bonus point there. Something else that is sick and that is unique is that this truck jump, I think everyone remembers this, the T2T ramp. I mean, this is unique. Um, you obviously don't need it to get through uh, this back tunnel, I think is obviously like a remedy for how to get on the rooftops if you're not good enough to wally or jump up there otherwise. So this essentially is like the handicap accessible version to get up, which I think is a good thing to practice with any level. So you have easy ways to get up to all the hard areas, you know, the options. And the secret area, I feel like this was an afterthought. Maybe this was going to connect to the tunnel or maybe there was going to be another like way to come out. Like, you know what I mean? Like maybe he meant it to come out over here um, from there, you know, like there's, there's some potential there, but the, the secret room is, is pretty dumb in my opinion. And it doesn't really do much. I think they literally call it the most pointless room or something like that's the gap title. Uh, I think we all know that this serves as a really awesome spine transfer in the later versions, but we're not going to talk about that now. Um, this is a sessionable roof. I think it's a really good, like what you call it a case study. Like if you want to get the players on the roof is one thing, but if to keep them there is very difficult. And so what I would always, what I would always try and do is put a quarter pipe on each side and now it's a bowl. You know what I mean? Um, so I think that this works in that regard really well. It is broken up with, I think a little too many kickers. Like I think this should be axed and the kicker should only be on this side. So maybe only have a kicker from inside going to where we want them to go, which is across to roof to roof. So I could have done without this one. Like this one, literally, I remember jumping off this one, getting all the speed I could and seeing where they wanted to take me. Cause this, this is literally like a handhold where it's like, oh, look at this kicker from this roof gap. Like, let's take the skater. Like, what are we doing here? Like, why is that even there? I would just remove that altogether. And then in addition to that, it would keep the skater, you know, the player on the route, not only solving a bonk, but we keep him up there too. So anyway, so what they want is for you to get the secret tape by doing that. I missed my fast plan, but anyway, 
The sucky room? Nice. Yeah, that's what they called it, huh? So they, at least they recognize it. I just don't understand why they left it. I don't under, like what was the point still. And you can't grind the edge of that tunnel. It's also like a huge um, sad face moment. Yeah, if I was designing this level, I would have put a kicker, like a two-sided kicker right here so people could come up here and get up to the roof more. All right, let's get up to the roof. We'll talk about it up there on the other side, and then we'll uh, move on to the next level. If you guys uh, had to rate this level on a scale of 1 to 10, what, would you, what do you think? Also, are we spending a fair amount of time on each level? Is this too much, too little? Seem fine. Sure, why not? All right, let's get in our natural stance and try and fast plan across. It's actually difficult to get across. Six, six, five. Interesting seems to be in like the uh <clears throat> similar range with each other six gang so this is another situation where it's like okay you're, you got the skater on the roof how do you keep him there this one literally has a bowl indented in the roof which i can appreciate maybe this is actually supposed to be a swimming pool there's just like chevrons on the top who knows what it's supposed to be but it's tony Hawk one we don't really care why are there handrails on top of the roof it doesn't matter here's another case where i think a, a one singular rail would have been better than than three but the roof is too small to have multiple rails because i mean this you jump off this, where is it taking you? It just takes you down to the street, into a wall, into agony. Like, I think you might be able to catch that 500 and get that rail, but it's super difficult. You need a lot of speed. And this one, I think, like, it's, <clears throat> maybe they were trying to keep you on the roof. That's why it's angled. But it should have just linked up with this rail. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, the rail to rail but 90 degree angle i i don't understand what like the conveyance here is not lining up this also feels like the um the rails on top of the school roof where they just sort of lead to kind of nothing and they just kind of feel like they're in the way this one is the only one that serves a purpose because this one is like oh look there's a ramp here like you should take this off the ramp so you're at a perfect 90 degree angle on the grid you know and if you ask me i would have put a quarter pipe on the end of this side we were like directly conveying to the player like don't jump off when you come off this end of the rail because there's nothing there there literally isn't so they can learn you know trial by fire because i think the rail is basically going to dictate the player's trajectory right so you need to make sure when they come off what's their read what are they doing where are they going and that going off the other end not fun but the death grind i think we all remember this especially from tony Hawk one and two i think it's satisfying once you get it but any other option is kind of like whatever i kind of God. I think I kind of um, like I, I wish that uh, there was something intended for the skater to land onto from that roof up there. You know what I mean? Like landing on the rail for the death grind is good, but it feels like that should be an option to the real thing that you're supposed to land onto. Like maybe there could have been a bus stop that's like placed out here with a landing kicker ramp, you know? Like just take that bus stop, copy pasta, up, upscale it by two so it's a little bit bigger and then have, slap a kicker on top and maybe that's like kind of like roof to roof and then you can have a kicker from that that takes you across the walkway you know or just something so like what i'm trying to say come off the rail hit the kicker and you could take this bus stop slap it here but it's like way bigger and you can have a landing ramp right here so the dude comes and lands here and then another kicker you might have to make some adjustments down here to make this all work but you could launch across this whole walkway and then land on another kicker here or something you know what i mean like something that lends itself to like you did you did all this work to get up here and now you get the secret tape and your payoff is that you land on flat ground in the grass and to me that's just kind of a, a missed opportunity you know this level is good i like this level it was one of my first picks when choosing what level to bring back for american wasteland and i think the main reason being is that it's big and so there's more options. And when you're in American Wasteland, you have all these new mechanics to play with. And it'd be cool to have a larger space to do it in. So that was one of the main reasons why I picked it. But um, I think it skates way better in American Wasteland. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about how it plays in Tony Hawk 1. And so let's go to our, um, our spreadsheet. Uh, let's see. Art. It does look pretty. It is unique. It's a nighttime level. It's downtown. It's outdoor. There's streets, sidewalks. You know, the dirt areas, ledges, there's the apartment section, the truck tunnel. There's a lot of different stuff going off. I would say it's a little bit unique. It doesn't look amazing in art, art, but it is a step above, you know, like the warehouse or something. So the flow is kind of whatever. I feel like it's like a five, maybe even a four. I mean, it kind of has this thing, but there's a lot of dead space. 
but at least it kind of points you in the in the right direction i feel like once you get here you're just like what do i do actually let's highlight all the spots where i'm like what do i do that's a pretty big chunk of the level even here that's almost all the level like i feel like you know this part is good oh this is a bad all right whatever anyway you get the point flow i think i might give it a four ah, it has better flow than chicago though so maybe chicago needs to come down better flow than warehouse maybe is this right I think it is better. It has to be because it's bigger. There's way more room to work with. Flags are they're there, but it does it's not important. I'll give it a nine because it's just like attention to detail. Man, this is probably one of the worst attention to detail levels. Probably because it's so big. So it's hard to like I'm gonna give it a three. It has way I think it has less attention to detail than the maybe just as much as a skate park, actually. Uniqueness, it's pretty unique. There's rooftops. Uh, roof to roofs. There's bowls in the rooftops. There's a uh, greenhouse, the secret um, apartment section, or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty unique. Give it a seven. Fun. This is the ultimate. This is like, wh what do we rate the level on a scale of one to ten? I probably give it a six. And Tony one. Because it's interesting, despite having all these flaws, for some reason, I think it's the giant walls on each side of the rooms and then the fact that they're curved so it's not right angled forcing you in a lot of areas it's it's i think it's it, it is still kind of fun like it's better than the average level strangely now what tier is it in i think it's better than chicago not better than the mall maybe it's a c i think it's a c tier get out of here gp <laughs> don't you dare chop a drop s tier it's gotta be C tier, I think. I'm sticking to that for now. Actually, you know what? We need to uh, do our a, a trusty, a dusty downtown. Okay, so now we have a choice. C tier, is it better than warehouse or down? Uh, I think it is, right? It has to be, there's so much more to do. So if it's further to the left, that means it's better. Okay, the most polarizing level in the entire franchise. The downhillest of jams. The jamest of downhills. One of the main complaints I have right away. Uh, you can't grind the tops of this, but can you grind this? No, I think you can have your own take on this, but these look grindable. You know what I mean? It's, it's edgy. It's an, it's enough of an edge. Three edgy five me, I would even say. Okay, so can't grind the tops of these. I mean, they're fun boxes. I get it. They're supposed to be launch ramps, but look, it's an edge. It feels like this skateboarding game, you grind edges. That's one of the main attractions of the game when I first started is that you can grind anything, seemingly. You can't grind the edges of all these. It's like all this open area that you look at all these things I can't grind. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's, I think I like downhill jam. I'll just start out by saying that there, there's a lot that could make it better. And I think the later versions of the, when it was brought back, lend itself really well. But so the main thing I really love is that this giant gap you can clear by grind or air. So if you're feeling saucy, you can change up this run by doing either, or you can catch it from this ramp. And it was really fun and really rewarding. Like when you actually get over it, you know what I mean? The, I think this is rad. This is unique. It's fun. It feels epic. Like if you watch that on the replay, it's going to look sick. You know what I mean? Some things that kind of get overlooked, I feel like, is like when you have a, a level like this and it's all rocks and you're like in a canyon, the rocks, uneven ground doesn't seem like, look at that rock that we're going to jump onto, if I can even reach it. Like, um, it's skatable, which I'll give it to them. They're not preventing you from going up there. So it's just like more, more place to mess around. Like that right there is my point. Is it skatable? Is it wall rideable? Is it neither? And I can't tell the difference. And that's, that's a big problem. Like right there too. I thought that was a quarter pipe, but I couldn't go up it. So, so I mean, I could go up here and like that rail feels kind of like I tried to hit that probably for the first time ever, like intentionally. 
and i i just don't really see the point it feels like they're intentionally trying to get a line going there like you jump up there you grind that rail and then you grind these next ones it leads you to the valve and blah 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 and i it just doesn't it's a blind turn it doesn't help much this could use a kicker going upward like there's an opportunity for gameplay going up but instead there's a wall so if it was a kicker what would i be launching into nothing so it'd be not a wall so that would work also these rails were always weird to me because once you get to the end of them here let's see what, what happens when you grind it and get to the end so i was expecting to run into the wall but the next best thing would be to get kicked off but it doesn't kick you off instead you you don't hit the wall and it let you have to turn okay that one was good it kinked you off so so here's the rail we're talking about i just feel like this is all quarter pipe right here right the rail should just go, follow the whole thing and like maybe they should have put another one here and then like you could jump from rail to rail here and then like a quarter pipe could also be a gap or have like a channel um you know, maybe another option to spit you out here or something like another pathway. I mean, I know I'm introducing more geo, more art, more time and stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, and this is the thing I was talking about earlier is like this, this whole thing just feels kind of like a bust. If it was me making it, I would make this rock readably flat. So when I see it from over here, I like, no, oh, I can get up there. That's like, I know for sure I could skate this. And then maybe I would even put a kicker at the end. So when I'm up here, I can see that there's something to hit and there's probably leads me to somewhere cool. And so this would be, that would be a perfect opportunity to get this rail to link up somehow, or maybe it starts out here and maybe this valve rail here, there's two. And then there's this one could have just been one. And this would read so much better as like a here. And then if you miss, um, if you miss this, if you don't get up there, then you could, um, obviously you could hit this kicker as a fail safe so easily accessible right like i was saying the options right that's that obviously it's just one dude's opinion um a lot of things i would change if this were my level and i had plenty of time and budget stuff but um this rail feels awkward to me that's why we broke out this whole pen and pad situation because like these it's that same thing where the rail lines up with the wall so am i going to hit the wall is it going to kick me out i don't know the read is so I'm just like, why even bother? There's nothing up here for me. So I'm just going to skip all this gameplay. There's nothing here for me. The only thing that's here is a quarter pipe. If I'm trying to get special, you know, like here or here or whatever. Um, yeah. And there's like, there's, you know, there's nothing up here to get to there's it's, it's empty. So it feels bare. So I'm skipping all of it. I'm going to here, I'm getting my valve. And then the, the, the crummy thing here is I have to turn around and backtrack to get this valve that's right here now or i could try and scuff my way up here and get this grind backwards but either way i have to backtrack i can't get all these valves in succession maybe i can maybe there's a way to jump from here and land here and get this valve that's right there but i don't know yes you can okay i'll take your word for it i, I haven't done these in a long time so i don't know but to me the readability isn't quite there what i do love about this whole this whole section is just like you know you're blazing fast through here like at, at crazy high speeds especially if it's your first time you're just like oh my god i'm just flying through here and that is like the coolest feeling like the downhill jam like that is like perfectly encapsulated in this level like they did a really good job and there's like the half pipe section here where you, so you can go back and forth right and then if you grinded um this i feel like is kind of a missed opportunity where you know you go up here and i think it kind of is like they want you to they want to spit you out here but if you jump past, like this is just water like you die here or you jump into this quarter pipe and so there's not really an option to go out so i think all they want you to do is to go here come up and come down and then you read this rail or like what i did was like grind this and then i kind of get spit into randomness and it doesn't really help anything so i do love how this is fast and it's hectic going all the way down right but this section i feel like this could have been a really good hangoutable section there could be a cut in here and then another half pipe or a bowl that's back here or it could have been um this could be a cut and then there's a quarter pipe way back here and then this is all flat i'm really good i'm the <laughs> ultimate as far as i know in this game and then so this could be a quarter pipe so you could session back and forth here right 
and then there could be a rail in the middle so you can go up quarter pipe come back hit the rail jump off hit this quarter pipe and you could session this whole situation and then there could be you know this this rock could be a flat wall and so you could wally off this over this quarter pipe and get back into the action and maybe there's a rail that comes so this could also tie into this problem that we had that we had up here go up the quarter pipe we come down what do we do i don't know but maybe we could put a kicker here sorry this is very quickly drawn and so it's a bunch of scribble this could be a kicker right and then this rail could be a thing that you catch to bring you over this right and into this section of the park so now we have this whole section like multiple options being able to jump from you know spot to spot and we're just hanging out in this big old section we're not like we have the option of careening down the mountain downhill jammy right this is great but if we want to stop and hang out we have these this whole section becomes a skatable hangout area and then maybe this could actually even connect this way and they could be like the truck tunnel downtown where it's just like a linear like rail to rail to rail and then there's a quarter pipe here and you can go back like there's there's a lot of potential right but obviously time money budget um resources is always a factor in games and you never hear hear about the stuff like maybe the this level's rushed up until complete up until the game went into beta or maybe that there was only so many designers or artists so they had to move on to another level and what you see is what you get baby came out like this and that's how we got to take it you know this whole part up here is cool um but for the reason right there i just fell getting back up sucks there's no easily accessible way to get back up and like going uphill in this game is worse than any other tony hawk game um like even if i just want to go up like this like you could see the acceleration being applied like every other second or every second to kind of help you along which is better than nothing but it definitely makes it harder to get back up do what you want to do um if i miss this rail i'm screwed is this wall rideable i don't know i think it is wall right into quarter pipes a little wonky this right here has always been a problem every time we brought back the level later in the series because it's like is this a ramp is this a wall maybe it's a quarter pipe like what is the read here the only thing that tells me it's not a quarter pipe is that it's not this texture on the left it's not carrying over there so it's not a quarter pipe but it's like what is that like how is that should be made a ramp or it should be an obvious barrier like if they if they want you to jump up it they should make something that's like you obviously need to jump off it because right now this read is like I have no idea what that is. So the safe thing to do is that you just got to boneless over it. And then you got to immediately hit the brakes and turn so you don't go flying off the edge. I would have put a backstop here. Um, and maybe put some breakable glass in the air. So the people who don't jump will never fly off. But the people who do jump will go crashing through something. And then they get spit back down in the level below. Really want a Mountain Dew? I wonder why. Anyway, so this whole section I think is cool. Could use some effort. The reason behind these rails I think is to literally keep you up here. It's funny that I think these might be handrails, but they're literally taller than you. So it looks like you should be able to go under them. I would have made these quarter pipes. So I think the feeling of going up, like obviously like you go up a quarter pipe, you come down and you bonk into a wall is no bueno. Like who wants to do that? So if you made it a quarter pipe, so this becomes like a snake run half pipe, and they would be super sick to be this high up in this big canyon area catching super like giant airs and being able to see everything around you from a really high height is um is awesome and like right there i tried to wall right across that's not wall rideable but it looks like it it's a wall right but it's a vert can i grind the top of this apparently not so there's a lot of bad reads up here and it's a super risky area it feels like it was only constructed for the secret tape and not, not for replayability. Um, you know, which might have only been the standard at the time. Um, I don't think I can grind the edge of this. Again, it's an edge. I feel like I should be able to grind it in a skate game. And then the jump off here leads you into 90 degree rails. You don't get to carry all your trajectory that you, you work so hard for. So you do all this. And this was what I was talking about. There should be a backstop here. Like this billboard should be multiple billboards and then have a hole. Or maybe we just like this top part of the billboard is break offable so you can jump through, go to the thing below, um, which would be sick. <clears throat> this ramp needs to get flattened out or it needs to be 
a, a just a straight up ledge that you have to jump over. This would read so much better if it was just a box. So you jump over it or the, it should be a continuation of a ledge right here. Like if this was grindable, which it's not, and it should be, and that links up to that wall, this could all be one long grind and then it could link all the way around and then maybe it could end here and you have to jump up to the quarter pipe that we want here so desperately. All of us unanimously agreed to put this quarter pipe here, remember? And so now you can have a quarter pipe here and another one on this side. So now you could transfer across this, this crazy channel gap that's right here. Like I know you, the angle's bad, but I think if you guys know the level, there's a gap right here. So you have to jump over it. Um, but if there's a quarter pipe here, you could jump it by quarter pipe on this side. And I think here, that's what they want you to do on this side, but you can't, so which is great, but you can't grind this. You can't grind this. You can't wall ride this. There's tons of missed opportunity for gameplay. Would have made it operate so much better. But what we brought this up for is that you jump off this thing. You can't, you get all this momentum and you jump off this ramp to the secret tape that's right here. But all these rails are at a 90 degree angle. So all that momentum you work for, you come to a complete stop and it spits you out there. I mean, granted, these spit you the correct direction, right? Downhills this way. The rails dictate your trajectory, and so we want you to be spit downhill, right? So that's fine, but like, if it were me, I would probably make this like that, you know, if I had to. Or like, it, this, this island doesn't even need to be here. This could be a pillar just for like a water tower. And it could be a decoration, like a, a circular wall ride or something. And then the actual objective could be a, a much longer, broader stroke. So like something about 90 degree grinds is that they whip you, you get like whiplash. Like, so if it was this short and it's not enough time for the player to react, I mean, it's a pr pretty clear read from up there. So you should be able to decipher what's going to happen when you land here. Like, so you obviously know you're going to go that way, but if there's multiple, like even this doesn't read well like which one am i supposed to get does it matter the tapes in the middle what happens if i grind here will i still get the tape i have no idea so if you ask me it, it should be two giant the only reason why i say two is because it's so broad and it's such a wide takeoff that you could like if it's only one rail you could miss it you know this side or this side really easily so i get why they made it four is just so it's easier to hit um, but I, I still think it should carry your trajectory a little bit better and you might have had to push it back some more in order to catch so to me that would have been fine um, and then after this it kind of I think my main complaint is it stops you right here right so you just land on flat all this all this work and the payoff is a, is a trajectory killer momentum killer and then you land on flat you don't even land on this giant downhill thing so ideally you know Let's make it a giant swoosh, very easy to hit, multiple rails if we need. And then um, you can make it kink up at the end so it's like a rail kicker. And then just space it, move this back that way as much as you need so that you land going downhill here. You know, that's my one man's take on that. And I can get, I can get into that. I, well, I just did get into that, but I have a lot to say about that section. Cause I remember it used to frustrate me so much, um, <clears throat> back in the day. Cause if you miss it, your, your run is kibosh. You just got to retry pretty much. Cause otherwise you're stuck doing this. Got to go uphill, try it all again. Um, this part is sick. Uh, jumping up to this valve is rad. I love that. Um, so this billboard, I would have loved to ditch it. I think they might have had to put it in there or put something there for ad this or that. But if they had to put an ad there, I would have loved to um, make it two. So what they could have done instead of making this a big like uh, momentum killer on the wall. Oh my God, this is so painful trying to go uphill see if I can catch it at the right time so if you go off this ramp you're gonna just lose all your momentum from this thing so I would have split this in two and made a 45 degree angle we could have two go back to those Mountain Duke guys and say look we can give you two billboards for optimum placement right 
So the benefit here from a gameplay perspective is that no matter where you run into, your trajectory gets carry carried forward. Look at that arrow, it's perfect. So you're splitting the ca the characters or the skater's trajectory one way or the other. There's no way you'll come to a complete stop if there's a 45 degree angle here. We used to do this trick all the time for handrails. Like this handrail, well, I'm not sure what it is in this game, but I used to do this all the time. Like if it's a box, which it typically isn't, it's usually a pyramid, like a house kind of shape. So if you try and jump on top, you slide off one way if you don't grind or the other. But anyway, the point is if there's a box, you can split this box to make it sort of like a 45 degree angle. So you will never run into the side of this rail. You will always get pushed that way or that way. And it's the same thing with this thing. So it, so not only that, now this becomes a sick wall ride. I just did a cuss on stream. Don't tell anyone. We're going to cuss during the script anyway. So now we're going to jump up here and we could wally from this and then we could probably wally off of this too. So we got a double wally combination. Then we can even th put some rails on here. I don't, this was a missed option. I think these are not wall rideable in this game. I was just thinking, what if you guys didn't have this picture up and I'm just like going to town and there's just like, oh, we could make this like this. You guys can't even see it. So yeah, just tons of, of missed opportunity, but you know, time, effort, budget. I'm sure resources were slow and whatever. So what I did appreciate the, about this, uh, that valve up there is that you can come down here and you can, you can skate back up here and get the valve. So there's, it's easily accessible for, you know, it's an option, right? You know the real way to get it is from that obvious ramp, which is, it reads very well. And then this is a giant mega roll in to mega jump. And then the gaps, I think, is um, set up in a unique way from any other level that, you know, it's like a, oh, I didn't even get it. But if you jump out at the right time, it measures your distance based on how far you get. And I think that's kind of unique. It's not like any other gap anywhere else in the game or the series. I don't want to just play the whole level, just get the trajectory, fly down it. That's wall rideable. So can we do this? Oh, let's go. See, that's sick. You can almost hit that. That's a wall ride. Whoa. I was trying to grind the edge of it and I got a wall ride. It's like they don't want you to skate up that thing that I was just on right there. They make it super difficult. But this. See, like, what is that? Like, I was trying to grind and you just water it, wall road, nothing. Uh, whatever. But, you know, back then, like, the thought of, like, what's possible, you know, the team is only, like, 14 people. QA is probably another 10 or 15. And, like, there's no, like, internet message boards or people volunteering to play betas or Twitch streams to watch and focus tests. Like, anyway. I'm not gonna make this, so this is another bad thing. Like, it's just no way to really regain speed unless you like go up and down that quarter pipe that leads you off the ledge. Anyway, oh look, that's another bad thing. So we're not gonna hit this again, but whatever. I'm trying to get special, I'm trying to turn around. Anyway, leads you straight into that. This is the only hangoutable area in the whole level, but it's not even that great because if you go, oh my God, missed the, missed the quarter pipe. <laughs> It's like you can go up and down these quarter pipes. We got to jump this gap, go up. Anyway, this is where I got all my high scores in this game. I used to do a special move, not with Tony because his specials are long, but I've said this before, but this is my line. I would go up here, uh, do a trick, catch this, kick, trick, kick, uh, kick, trick, grind, kick, trick, like just do that three or four times. And then you jump off the edge if you can make it that far. Um, you could do another like 720 air and then you land on that rail below right here. And I get like 180,000 points per run. And that was huge for me. Here's another kick trick to wall or sorry, a uh, kicker to wall ride. So you can get like a 900 air off that, which is sick. Big fan. This rail serves a lot of good purpose. I feel like the rail should have started up here though. I'm not sure why it doesn't. It would help you get back uphill and like just be something to aim for as you come downhill. Uh, I think this was supposed to be like, well, we need a place to hang out. Uh, it's all downhill. They have another minute 20 to burn. Just give them something to do down here. But this sort of serves as that. But like I said earlier, like I think it could be way better. Um, that kicker right there, I think for one, like this rail is like inside this wall. 
which is another no-no. You're supposed to make him at least two feet away from the wall. Um, so when you grind it, your skater doesn't like his arms don't clip through it and stuff like that. So I would have maybe removed these two uh, fun boxes as much as I like them. Put a rail down the middle or maybe just kept this one and then made this a quarter pipe with a kicker in the middle. So you can choose to take the quarter, uh, the kicker and finish, or you could take a quarter pipe and then go back, catch the rail and then take this up. And the only problem with that is that this leads you to nowhere. So, I mean, you can go back uphill. Maybe you can cut into this hill and put a quarter pipe here. Or, you know, maybe there's a tunnel chute that goes in underground and there's a U-turn grind or something. But anyway, could have, could have been way better down here. Um, this rail, I don't know why it's two. I think it should be one. I don't, it's just one of those things like make long, broad strokes are better than uh, smaller ones. It would be cooler, cooler to grind this quarter pipe. Like you just don't have the ability to grind it. I'm not sure why. With the rocks going directly into the lip, I could see why they didn't want you to because they don't want the board clipping to, through the rocks. So the answer would be to just insert a deck, like a six inch or 12 inch or two uh, foot deck on the top of these quarter pipes so you can grind it. And then maybe even wall ride these, wa these rocks. Um, I think it'd be really cool. And so you could start the grind up here, take it all the way down, um, and then you can link up with our fancy handrail that we've created. <clears throat> so you grind this, take it to the handrail, it connects, or maybe you have to jump to get it. And then it takes you all the way down here. It could be a grind kicker there. And then you land back on it. And that could be a super awesome section to, uh, you could even go off the quarter pipe, do a vert air, land on the, the handrail we we're just adding. And then that would be a sick combo line. Just that quarter pipe to rail. Does the water splash? I don't think so. Does it? Let's check to see if the water splashes and then we can move on. All right, water splash, pause champ. No, it doesn't. You don't get to see, Sag. Art. To me, this art, like the color scheme, the whole palette is like orange and dark. It doesn't really do it for me. There's not much differentiation. Like when you think of landmarks after first playing this level, I can't even really think of one land. There's like the water valves and like the initial like gap that we just jumped over at the beginning. This one in front of us. But <clears throat> the art, I feel like this might be the like, yeah, you know, it looks fine. It's a PS1 game. I'm not trying to be hypercritical and like talk down on them, but com comparatively amongst all these levels, this might be the worst looking level, right? The one that you probably don't want to put on the magazine cover, right? Um, so maybe a four just below average flow is great. Cause it's all downhill. I'll give it an eight flags really bad. There, there was that rock section that we, um, we couldn't tell if it's a ramp or a quarter pipe or a, you know, something you have to jump over or anything in between. We had no idea. A lot of the rocks you can't wall ride, I think was intentional, but I don't know why, because it would be so much more funner, more fun if you could. You can't grind lots of uh, um, kickers and uh, fun boxes and edges of concrete. And there's a lot missing here. This probably would be the worst flagged level, I think. Like maybe a three or a four. I'm gonna give it a three. Attention to detail, probably another three. Like it's it just these kind of go hand in hand. Like if you don't have attention to detail, you're not flagging things correctly and vice versa. Uh, uniqueness, it's pretty unique. Oh, hi. Oh, you brought food. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I'm starving. Let's go, dude. You guys, oh, I gotta show you. Look at this, man. <gasps> the American dream in one box. Let's go. Thank you. You just appeared out of the, the heavens. <laughs> just like, so uniqueness. I mean, it is unique. It's just like the mall, right? Like there's no other level like this. It's like in a Canyon. There's it's surrounded by what, like it is unique. I mean, like we said earlier, these are all unique in their own sense. Like they're all themes, right? They're all themes that are different from each other, except for like skate park, you know, but like, um, let's give it an eight. Sure. Fun. I have a lot of fun when I play this level, except in career when I have to do these collect goals and stuff, but God, it could be so much more fun. You know, it's not, I think it's better than average, but slightly even saying that out loud. I feel like maybe it is just average. Maybe it's a five or a six. 
Is it better than downtown? Is it better than Chicago? What would you guys rate this on the fun scale? One to 10. The, it's definitely not a 10. It's not a nine. It's not better than mall in my opinion. Mall's way, a way better constructed indoor linear level. Part of the reason is because it's indoor. Is it more fun than warehouse? I'm leaning towards like five or six. Monty says eight. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it a five. Because I think a lot of this attention to detail and flags, like if this was like an eight, this would really bring up this number. So I think it's better than skate park. Because there's a lot more going on in downhill. This is like a bigger section. There's more to play with, right? More tools to play with. And so in that, with that logic, it's better than warehouse. But is it better than downtown? Is this like blasphemy to rate downhill jam higher than warehouse? If downhill is, is E tier, then skate park would have to be F tier, which I don't agree with. If anything, it would be like that. I think it's like, I think downtown is better than downhill jam, but downhill is better than warehouse. I think this is right. Hand in my FIPS card, sir. Warehouse is so small. There's literally like four quarter pipes and one handrail. Like separate the nostalgia from what's actually there people wake up sheeple c tier now <laughs> i think yeah nostalgia is the reason most people like warehouse like and then you like put them in the warehouse you're like okay let's see how much fun you have they're like yeah i don't know i'm probably like i'm just putting words in y'all's mouth but i think i'm gonna stick with this for now c tier above warehouse and i'm gonna get roasted for that probably but you guys are at least here for my thought process so <clears throat> let's move on two hour 40 minute stream and we're like six levels in or something seven we're almost done we got two more yeah i'm just andy okay <clears throat> we are at burnside let's have a look at this top down map so i'll start off by saying if you don't already know this level is based off a real life location and so we've seen pictures i've actually been there to take reference pictures for what was it oh my god Project 8. I think it was Project 8 because I had initially been assigned to do the concrete um, skate park level. So we did a, me and a, like three other artists did, had a, like a whole itinerary for Pacific Northwest uh, skate parks. And so we went and took pictures, whatever. I've been there and it it's pretty much one-to-one -one like this. Like some things are maybe a little bit more accentuated, like um, how steep they are and whatever. But you start here. What's our read? We're coming in diagonal to this triangular kicker. So right away, not looking too hot. No, thank you. So you take the kicker and you land on this awkward thing. Like what is, what is I don't know. A better starting spot would have been almost literally anywhere. Like this seems like an obvious one or this one probably is not good because people will just get trapped because they don't know how to leave bowls. Um, but literally pick here. This would have been fine. This would have been fine all these this one here there's so many other spots like i think this is just like this is like where you're supposed to start like quote like i think this is probably like if you go to the park this is just where you get speed but to me even if that is the case it just doesn't lend itself like whatsoever so that's number one number two should have been number one the fact that i can't <clears throat> The fact that I cannot wall ride any of these fences is literally why I'm giving this one of the worst levels ever in any of the Tony Hawk video games, if not the worst. Like, okay, you can argue, yo, you can't even like the wheels won't even go across the chain link, Andy, what the frick, my immersion. And it's like, this is a video game. And this is a small area to work with. You're literally taking away gameplay from the user for the sake of being realistic. <laughs> like if you want, this is like a total straw man, but like if you want to make a video game realistic, let's put in bathroom breaks. Let's feed the skater because they need to eat to live. They need to pay rent too. So you got to go to a job and like deal with the whole like real life situation. They probably get lonely. Maybe they need a girlfriend and join an online dating. Like this is just not, it doesn't carry for me. I'm sorry. So um, one thing I will say that if you do wall ride a fence, you should get a new terrain type sound effect, you know, give it some particle effects. So when you wall ride it, it sounds like you're wall riding a, a fence. Although I will say there are plenty of videos of real skaters out there wall riding fences. Maybe the chain link is small enough so your wheels can actually connect. 
and it's more of like a great kind of situation and so that being said if you can water it up here then that you know where's the end right so now can we grind the tops of the fences to me yes just make them grindable why not so andy if you can grind the fence where does it end that means that i could grind from the top of the fence and jump out into the unknown okay well that's an interesting problem you have there's been many fixes in the past to prevent this thing from happening one easy solution is just make this entire outdoor outdoor section um a kill trigger so it's like jumping into water once you touch it you just get killed and reset to go back to the park i feel like that's understandable if it's not if you need to convey it add traffic um add puddles and rain add like a, a drainage ditch that's like clearly full of toxic sludge like there's so many resolutions or you could just build barbed wire on the top and not make it grindable at all like there's just so many um alternative solutions that could have been done but i think the main focus back here um back then for this level it's burnside it's a skate park you skate the skate park and it's a skate park modeled after the real thing one-to-one -one. nothing more nothing less we're not taking any liberties it's just going to be what it be like that's it so but that to me like i know i understand they're trying to just get a game done they're trying to build levels and just like get, you know finish it but i'm being hypercritical because that's my job you know or was my job like on this uh, whatever let's look at the flow <clears throat> there is none okay the end just kidding no <laughs> so if you actually were to try i think there's some high scoring lines of like people sort of like um i think they just like use this rail and tried to fit in as many specials as they could and then came around here and then grind this and that's like the whole high scoring line someone could correct me if i'm wrong if there's like um a high scoring video of this on youtube or something somewhere but i'm just gonna go off of like my thought process coming into the level so i, I i'm guessing i'm just gonna like go off this rail and i think this connects and I, like i think this gonna this connects and so now i'm in this wall situation that i can't wall ride and almost no matter what angle i land at i bail right here and that's the same for here and then the same for here and and probably for here too and for here too and like all these other gr um grinds that lead into walls right here up here up here and like i think i can grind these but they lead into a wall here so that's another bad grind like um what else can i rail this level for um these rails these ledges up here barriers these are not here in real life and so i think the designer placed them here so like there's something to do up here right another situation where a one broad stroke would have been better or i think if this was one rail and then this one was like a little bit because this one is tough to hit if you want to jump from here it's a lot of effort it doesn't really line up well this should have been moved over more this way so it's like right here so you can jump straight because it's like too far for a side jump unless you're at the right height maybe the thinking was like coming off this ledge and jumping straight and hitting that but even that's hard maybe the thinking is that you um, grind here and side jump and and you hit it but it's just it's hard to read there's not there's it's too difficult and, and then let's let's talk about how this just leads you straight into a wall this is a wall right here so i don't know if, while we're on it why don't we nudge this back so the end of the rail is now here and this is this is the rail and then this would be here that would make this leaps better and then i would add a chamfer here so the fence is now like this instead of a right angle so now i can jump and wall ride this and i can get carried around the edge that solves so many problems right there and then same right here we could just put chamfers around the edges obviously you know there's a level of uh you know spoon feeding that we don't want to do we don't want to get rio in here but like these are just quick simple things i would have at least tried at some point but like right away i just not being able to wall ride the fence means you're basically boxed in somewhere with no wall rides and none of the grinds lend themselves to each other 
like this leads to nowhere this leads to a bonk this leads nowhere this i think connects is like a whiplash this like everything everything leads to garbage I'm trying to think of one good thing about this level i think this rail kind of leads to this ramp that leads into a wall um this leads into i think you can kind of jump through this which might be cool but i think what i remember is just hitting this like hitting the the freeway i don't even know i don't even know what else to say about this like i'm trying to think of what's good and what's bad and I, I it's just hard to put it into words other than i can't wall ride or grind the fences that surround the entire level and if you just look at it from a, a flow perspective like in in tony 3 and the later games like you came around here you could do this and then you could spine transfer this or you know you could take this and grind here like there's some flow there but the reason why you can't do it in this game is because these jumps just like don't line up like the physics of the game don't let you connect these rails easily and you can't spine transfer this so you can't do that so you got to come off here and now you're left out in this big open area with nothing to do I don't know. Like, I just feel like I can't even really evaluate this much further. Like, it's so small and there's just nothing really going for it. Like, what was that? There's a kink on that rail. It should be straight, but it kinks me out. Like, what is that? Why does it kink me that direction? Somehow they messed up that rail. I was just trying to, like, throw it a bone and then they just, like, threw me the other direction. Does this connect? Okay, it doesn't. Okay, it looks like it connects, but it doesn't. Like if they wanted that co to connect, they could, you know, take some liberty, round it out a bit more so it's not a whiplash. Um, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do when I launch, when I, but what? Okay, let's get special, the full stats. And then uh, grind and see what happens. It's like, okay, it doesn't bail you. Like sometimes other levels will, but like the way you land kind of like at that weird angle i feel like is like almost as bad like you're just ugh, this doesn't feel good like if they're gonna kink you out like that i think there should be visual representation so i know where i'm getting put so when i look at that i'm like it's gonna point me that direction not like an invisible rail the invisible rail should be last result uh resort but I mean, we use a lot. It's better than nothing, but like um, visual representation is always going to be better, I think. Yeah, and like, what is this? Does this connect? No, it doesn't. It's the same situation. It's like, look at this rail that connects and you grind it and it doesn't freaking connect. So this level is just the definition of frustration in in like, a, like a, it, it's a closet of frustration is how I feel. I feel trapped. I feel like there's nothing to do. And the pressures of being in a competition of scoring high, you just get nothing. I don't know. I feel like I, it's time to rate it. Like I just can't even, I'm getting frustrated thinking about it right now. Art, it's concrete, it's one-to-one, -one. it looks fine. But the fact that it's just concrete and kind of boring, maybe a four. Is it better than downhill jam? Probably 4.5, flow. Do we even give this a one? What do we think? maybe a one i feel like it no like the only level non-level that's possibly better than this in terms of flow is probably chopper drop right 0.5 yeah maybe that's fair actually flags i mean it's missing all sorts of grinds and and can't wall ride the walls like this probably gets a 0.5 too i want to give it a zero but i'll give it a 0.5 just because there's probably worse out there attention to detail zero point f i don't know uniqueness it's a real life skate park so it's like there's no liberties take it the only maybe like this whole thing up here isn't quite how it is in real life and so there's like some liberties taken there but i don't think so i mean who, it doesn't even matter it doesn't even really add anything to it like you maybe zero like fun Z like i'm trying to be generous here and i'm tr i'm struggling to find reasoning for me to be generous like oh well they tried here like it's just this is just straight up f tier like i just can't even i'm only giving it credit because it just like looks like the real place you know what i mean
starting to think Annie doesn't like Burnside. I know. I'm trying to um, kind of criticize this objectively, or at least subjective, so you know where I'm coming from. But there's not even much to criticize because it, criticize, it's a real, uh, real life location and it's such a small level. And almost every grind leads into a, a death or you don't know if it connects like here. Uh, yeah, man, I, I just can't. This is the best I can give it one. I, one is even too generous. I feel like I'm going to give it a zero just straight up. All right, next level. Let's go streets. Sorry, I bet there's a little passion coming out there. I feel like, but like jumping over the bridge girder is fun. Are you telling me that you had fun in that level at some point? It's okay. I feel like I might be alone on that. I just remember growing up and just my entire like Tony Hawk career, whatever you want to call it. Like I always thought of Burnside Tony Hawk one as the worst level in the series. Okay. Streets, dude. Thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. Let's put the, sorry. Let's uh, Burnside straight up F. Okay. Now we got streets. Now we're talking. So this one is like a lot like downtown um, in that there's a lot of open space, which is fine, but I feel like um, it can be bad too. Like sometimes I find like when I'm like skating around here, like it's a bit like, okay, what am I supposed to do? But that could be all right. Sometimes it's a good time. It's good to just kind of like let the area sink in and take it in the sights, right? Cause this is a big, you know, big city level with a lot to offer but there's some empty areas like i would say this is really bad this is really bad and this is really bad basically the streets like there's no rails here so you can't see that one but like on the ground there's nothing to do on the ground to carry your flow like it's the same problem that downtown had where like um, the beginning is really sick. Like you start out here and there's a cop car right away for a mission. You see the girder and dump stand. There's like a uh, half pipe section is hang out here and the, the icing right away and pretty much the cake of the level is going up here, coming down. And then this kicker takes you all over this whole thing and you can clear it. And this is such a cool thing. This is a very memorable landmark for, um, this level and just Tony Hawk games as a whole. And it, I just really like it. And so. And then you could, the option here is that there's balconies up here with segmented rails. Each balcony is its own rail. So you can catch this and dink, 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 which is really cool. And then the S letter is in here, right? So you can get that that way. And then on the other side is the same thing. And then here is a giant long handrail and a giant long ledge right here. So all these options, there's like, like one, two, three, four, five options right away on just this one um playable area the only thing that this is missing is a way to get back up that's really easy because right now you have to avoid the grass to keep you from slowing down so the only way to get back up is to do that if they had another rail right here so you could side jump back and forth that would make it a lot easier or if there was like maybe it's something up the middle whatever it is like um, yeah, I don't know. Just something to think about. And so, yeah, again, it's the same problem as downtown. Like there's nothing on the ground. Like, it, you know, the isometric view doesn't let you see what's on the other side of these buildings, but there's nothing here. Uh, but here is really cool. This is all very clearly laid out. This is like a very circular pattern here. This is a flow area, the shape, right? The circle, the oval. And so on top of that, there's options. There's this, go this way. It's just like our San Francisco line that we were doing with the van and everything. Like this whole thing is super rad. You have this and this could spit you out into this direction. And then maybe you decide you want to go back this way, come back around. This is an empty area, which kind of blows, but you could also decide to come out this way and grab this rail, choose your trajectory, hit those two rails. There's a spiral staircase. So you can wally off that, get back on. The key to a good Tony Hawk level in my opinion, shape, options from the shape, and then ways to cut across the shape and subdivide it. So that meaning like you can go that way, that way, that way, and that way. 
and then it's surrounded by bits and pieces so you can like come off and come there and come back and like you know there's just like all these and then the bonus part the best Tony Hawk levels have a big shape linked with another big shape so this level doesn't quite handle that very well there's a lot of empty area and all this and but you know you get what I'm saying um, this level sort of does it here this is all like realism this is our sim skater um you know skate game before skate games um the, you know have the hubble ledges that are real uh, from real life you have the the famous fountain here you have this ledge all this is great and then th these stair sets perfect these ledge sections of real life like all this stuff very cool but this this is not um comboable even in the old games like this doesn't really lend itself anything all up here on the right um so everybody's hanging out here and everything else is like um you know this is actually pretty good this lends itself pretty well uh, but everything else is kind of icing a little bit of dressing um it's a shame that you can't get up on these rooftop um paths and stuff yeah it's a shame that you can't get on the all this pathway like these are these is one of those situations where I think a lot of the level designs were some things in the levels were catered specifically for um, secret tapes or skate letters or something, um, which could be a good thing. But when you think about the longevity, I don't think they re realize how important free skate and, you know, how long these levels are going to be trying to stand the test of time and stuff like they wanted you to go up here, use this as a ramp. And I remember when I first found out that you can get up here and use this as a ramp, I was like, oh, my God. Like this was like a really cool feeling. It's like game designer's job was done when he made this, the player say, oh my God, that was cool. Right. As soon as, if you could do that, that's amazing. And they did that with me. So you can go up here, you can navigate through. If, if you haven't played the level, you can cruise around, jump over this, and then your journey continues and you go up here, slow down because if you don't, you just jump right off. So you have to make this this turn slow down or else you just jump right off and die get hit by a van or fall or whatever and then so it's a shame so this is all very cool but you can't link any of it into your combos it doesn't lend itself to um scoring or just flowing or freestyle like um something that they could have done is um simply like put a quarter pipe here with an extension and now you can get up here really easy and same with here horror pipe extension now you can get up here really easily and you can have this be an awning that connects or something like there's so much um possibility but i think they really wanted to drive a point home that you must start here jump up here you must take this route and this is my design and this is the way you will go about my design so they're really strict about taking this path and getting that tape that way but to me that doesn't longevity like it doesn't hold up in the long run like i feel like it, this could have been um way better but that being said san francisco is very awesome i feel like it's a it's a really underrated level and it was one of my first picks to try and bring back to uh, american wasteland but it didn't get um shipped but Yeah, so this whole bit is awesome. Just even that reed coming down there just feels really rad. Um, this whole place, this whole section feels like a, um, this is our realism skateboarding section. Like we have the ledges from real life. We have hubble ledges up there. These kickers, obviously not very realistic, but whatever. It's a, I think these kickers are better here than not being here at all. Or else this is kind of just empty space, but it's a nice option in addition to these rail to rails, if you can make it. Um, quarter pipe's a good call because these rails would lead you straight into a wall just like this side but at least you can sort of steer out of the way in time in that in that case um, this is a uh, handicap accessible so you can just roll right up um, the real life or rather sim skating these uh, hubble ledges is fun you know if you're into that sort of thing if you ask me these probably should have been a ramp um, as opposed to a wall but I get it they're trying to like um, keep it real uh, it's just one of those situations like you know do you want to spoon feed the player or not but to me it's probably fine the way it is but i would have just tried putting a ramp uh, but you can always just jump over it whatever um it's low enough and then same with this section this is probably a real life location i know nothing about but it, it does look like it's kind of tacked on Meep. all right let's see if we can do this first try probably not some latency whoa excuse me latency on this I 
feel like fast plants and bonuses in this game <clears throat> are a, a crapshoot sometimes. Oh, latency. This is the way you must get the secret tape. This is my game design. Then I come up short and then I have to go and do it all again. So I don't know. Uh, I remember watching videos of this game, uh, of this level before the game came out. And I was just like, wow, look at all this. This is so sick. And like, I didn't even know what San Francisco looked like. I'd recognize, I think, sort of from skate videos, like after seeing it on video here in this game and stuff. But um, I don't know. I feel like it's there. It's big. There's a lot of empty areas. It suffers the same problems as downtown with like if you're on this road and you're skating like look at this read like skate game by the way what are we skating you know what i mean what's up dude so like i think this could have totally benefited by having a, like a bike rack a really long rail just go down here you know what i mean and i remember when i was working on tony Hawk's pro skater one and two at vicarious uh, there were some barricades that were bouncy so when you roll them you roll you run into them they bounce right <clears throat> but they were all connected together so they looked like a rail and i was like would be great if you could grind this but um i think you should just disjoint them so they don't like their they don't look like they're connectable like grindable rails kind of thing so this is a yeah so it's kind of a drag you come down super full speed just to start the level and then you're kind of greeted with this like kind of solid wall and it would have been great if this was just like a quarter pipe right here that takes you up to the ledge above us and so you could take that secret tape route up there and then this behind it there could sort of be behind that quarter pipe there could be like this little walkway maybe with the handrail going down the middle or something um yeah so this it's my main complaint is being able to uh kind of connect all this stuff together here Uh, cause right now it's pretty empty. So this, this just makes me, well, I'm going to go on the other side of the street where all this stuff is. And this stuff isn't that great. We got a bent that, you know, bonks you coming down from a quarter pipe. This rail leads you into a, a wall and same with the other side. Um, I think a, a cool thing though, is that the reason why it leads you into the wall is because they, this transfers here. Like if you can clear that walkway, you can land coming down the quarter pipe. That's a cool feeling. Uh, I understand that grinding the cop care cop cars as part of the career missions but when you grind this it just leads you straight into like just kind of garbage like bonky you know no bueno-ness so but you know is that a donut shop comic sans what's not to love uh and this area over here sort of feels like a secret area but it's not it's uh you know one of the skate letters is over here so um, I think this is cool. I've, I've seen earlier versions of this level on YouTube and it seems like this um, This area Used to be this area over here and Then they got swapped at some point to for whatever reason to lend itself better to whatever plan they had or flow they had um, If you ask me it would have been cooler if this connected like, you know, th they ended up with this section over here in the in Chinatown over here. That that's fine. Would have been a lot cooler if they linked this up, or you know, if this came all the way around here, or something. You know, because that that like I said, the loop connecting to another loop. That would have been it. The figure eight dream would have been sick. But yeah, you know, like I was saying, the the, the lack of rails here. Or, you know, there could have been a quarter pipe here. And maybe this same planner wrapped all the way around. I think in Tony Hawk 1 and 2, they brought these back as like, this was segmented into multiple shops and stuff and whatever. So, I mean, the freedom is there to kind of do what you want as a designer. This this building is not based off a real building in real life, I don't think. I mean, look at the textures on this building versus this one and this one. It's all the same. There's nothing unique about these except San Francisco building. So, all in all, love the level. This section's amazing. This back alley is rad. These ledges are sick. I like this. I like the transfer here. Some of this stuff bonks. Not that great. Um, the spiral staircase, or ramp rather, is super sick. This is an okay secret area, but 
It would have been better if they just like cut out the columns because this is all useless right here. So really you're just unlocking a bowl, which is fine. It's an interior bowl and a new um, art styled area, which is valid. I feel like it warrants its own area. It's fine. Uh, the kicker to this, uh, to this secret room, and there's like a mechanical door that opens that introduces you to the slide uh, spiral rail, which is cool. A lot of different stuff going on. A lot of uniqueness. Um, some missed opportunity, which is unfortunate, but ultimately this is a great level. I think this is an awesome level. Let's go to our tier list. Art. Probably one of the best looking levels in the game, right? Looks better than warehouse, looks better than school. There's so many more unique elements here, right? Um, it's better than, uh, you know, maybe not better than the mall. I feel like the mall should be more than school now. Better than downtown for sure. Better than, yeah, so maybe it's a nine. Nine out of 10, art, 10 maybe even 10 out of 10. Like, Because if we're just doing this comparatively, and like, if if a 10 doesn't exist, then why is it on the 10 scale? You know what I mean? I don't know what, this is all very subjective, so whatever. I would say the flow is really good, but it could be better. So it's at least a seven, I think. Maybe, I think a seven is probably fair. Downhill jam is downhill. Malls downhill feels a little bit better. Maybe this should be bumped up and this should be bumped up. Uh, flags, I think everything is pretty much there. Everything is readable. There's some grinds that lead into walls there's nothing that's misconstrued as a wall that's not a wall in this um i think there's some rails like on the edges of buildings that you can't grind which is a drag so i maybe give this a seven or an eight i think an eight's fair it missed some stuff attention to detail it's kind of the same vein let's give it a seven because there's some areas that just make no sense and don't really flow with anything but they're there just for the sake of it actually existing in real life um, I would say that it's really unique. There's rooftop ramps and there's the pagoda to jump through two secret areas. There's hyper realism and there's fun stuff. I think it's pretty dang unique. It's at least an eight in my book, maybe even a nine and fun is got to be at least an eight. What would you guys rate this on a fun scale? Zero to 10. You can skate on a wall near the viral world. Oh, did we not put this in a tier? No, we put it in a tier. Whoops. It's in C. San Francisco is at least an A. I'm trying to determine if it's S. I think I'm going to give it an A. Because I don't know if it's on the same level as school. 8.5 is probably actually pretty fair. Yeah, I really like this level. So where is it? Streets. Is it better than Mall? I think it is. But we gave Mall a 9. We might have to take the Mall down to 8.5 and give this a 9. I'm going to do that. I think that's fair. That sounds right in my head. Streets better than Mall. Because Streets has way more stuff um to explore and way more variety and a lot more stuff to play with where bigger is actually better in this case okay cool let's move on to uh mall maybe b, b tier now hmm. all right roswell so this is a fun level i mean i think we we're all like super excited to be like oh my god it's the last level and it's secret i have no idea what it is and like you get here and it's like feels secret right it's like an area 51 like do that that dopamine hit i think is going to be pretty crucial here I don't know. It felt like a big deal back then. Um, I think once you've kind of gotten in and you've digested the whole thing, you realize it's like, um, it's really small, right? But it's simple in a good way. Like, I think like this, there's some problems. Like, I think grinding this rail that like leads into just like this uphill, like it kind of blows. But um, for the most part, everything is pretty much there. Uh, this, I remember this rail being a problem. It puts you right into this wall. And if you're lucky, you can um, grind that 90 degrees. But it's cool. I think the flow is there. It really is. It feels like this is a level designed later on in development where they had a, a more grass. Like, let's see how the fence curves and it doesn't come as a right angle. So now it like directs you in the direction you need to go. It's just like I was saying for Burnside earlier. Like if, the, if it was chamfered, and turned a 90 degree into a 45 degree segment here, I think would have uh, it would have gone done a lot of good for Burnside, and it does a lot for Roswell here. Like, look at this thick wall, right? That's so awesome. Kickers next to walls, by the way. Can you grind this? Yeah. So that reads well. Click and hold here. Can't wall ride the fences though. This is a good example of like not being able to wall ride a fence, but still, this is like like a good level 
Um, I can't grind this, which is surprising. I don't remember not being able to grind that. And I don't think I can grind this either. Oh, no, I can. What about this? Oh, yes. Nice. A little attention to detail. Let's go. Um, I thought this was unique. This is like our first like rail ramp. I've talked about it before, like a rail kicker, basically a rail or a grind that like kinks you upward. So it acts like it's a ramp when you're in a grind. I think those can be really fun. And this is like our first interact, like our, our first Tony Hawk rail kink, right? It goes straight up. I remember before I had full stats, you could like do a special move on it and it land on the rail beneath. Which is great because you don't have to worry about landing straight, right? Because you're on a rail. So you could just like spin. You're fine. So yeah, let's let's look at this shape here. So you come in here, right? Instant read. You're in this like metally futuristic y and I love the train type, the sound, and the look of this whole quarter pipe is super sick. It's really iconic. You could hear that and you know exactly where the player is. It's like super unique. It's over here too can't find it anywhere else in the game um anyway so the flow is quite literally a big circle with options preach on brother this is like where it's at they know what they're doing so you can come off here and grab these three if you want you can come off here jump st straight across the uh the rail gap here or you can come off here or jump off here wally catch that thick wall and then come down here and come through here or you can just ignore it or you can come out this side and connect it this way and go back around again so this is a perfect example of like it's just a great use of small space in my opinion and i think this is like a secret area right where it's like we need a secret area for the level what's it gonna be and like where's it gonna go and what's gonna be in it and this is a perfectly perfect example of like the smallest room you could possibly make and still have it be skatable so it's a bowl with a cut which is um you know fine but i'm not going in here looking for scores i'm not going in here to free skate and hang out but it's there it's an option look at these cool area 51 lasers brother and there's a UFO and a, something here and like alien artifacts down here. Something, something bones. I don't know. I don't really care. Basically this whole section, I don't care about, but the fact that it's there is dressing, it's icing. Sure. Why not? I would much rather it be this big, you know, or and like connect here too or something, but like that's, you know, it is what it be standards. Am I right? So I don't know. This level's small. I feel like we can't really analyze it much further. What else is cool about it? We didn't even see the um, the super secret area, even though it's not really that secret. <clears throat> I think maybe um, it's kind of secret because it reads like, okay, so you're coming, uh, you spawn the level, you go around that U-turn, you come off here and you're like, oh, that's a wall. I should avoid that unless... <gasps> Yeah, it's our boy. So this feels kind of like, I think especially for the time, you know, 1999 or whenever this came out was like, um, you kind of, it does feel very secret -y. you know, games weren't really doing much of this kind of thing. Um, I mean, they were, but like, at least in a skate game, this is like, <clears throat> it's cool, right? It doesn't skate that well, but it's cool. So I get the, I get the, the sentiment there, like why they did it. And like why they made it what it is and this and that area 51 sticks with the theme it's unique it's different from the rest of the levels it's it stands out like this is a skate park right but when we think of it it's roswell we don't think of it as a skate park and i think that's a testament to how unique it is and the art style and basically if a designer is working on this level they're just going to make it a skate park but it's up to the artist to make it unique and i think they did a really good job in that regard so Alien freaked you out of the kid. <clears throat> 10 out of 10 for metal QP sound effects. Dude, exactly. Doesn't it get really bassy? Oh, I was holding down at the top of that. That was no bueno.
Why is it so satisfying? I think it's because the, the sound pitch is based on your momentum. So it goes lower pitch as you slow down. Listen to that. It's coming down. It's like, ah, <laughs> okay, cool. So maybe I think it's time to just get out our uh, scoring card here. So let's, uh, let's look at the art. I think it's really, it's pretty basic, but it stands out. It's different. It's like, it's like, there's some reused textures for the quarter pipes and stuff, but not really. There's like some chevrons and whatever, but I think it looks good. I think it looks better than Woodland Hills. I mean, I don't know, debatably better than Miami. Definitely better than this. I think it's at least a six or a seven. Definitely better. Yeah, I think it's probably an eight or a nine. Really defined theme. Yeah, flow has got to be at least an eight because it, it's really straightforward. It reads well. It's easy. There's kind of some like this situation here. I think this attention to detail is like no bueno. When you like go up this quarter pipe and then you just boom right into a wall. But why? Why did they do this to us? I think this wall, like maybe this was a, a, just a wall here before. I'm not sure how it ended up like this, but I think this is better as a quarter pipe, right? But if, if it wasn't, it would be cool to have like so like take this corner and you look down here and like have options like you have this rail on the right and maybe a fun box with a wally on the left that leads you up to this thing you know what i mean um i don't know like that that's kind of a um i'm not sure what you could do to address that maybe this could have been a quarter pipe so you could still grind this and there's still like a kicker leading up to it but at least it would eliminate a lot of the bonk coming from uh from here so yeah yeah i don't know i feel like the flow is there i think it's still deserves an eight i think they could there's still room for improvement right the flags i feel like are fine it you can't grind um that circular missile silo thing the, the, the octagonal piece that i was talking about earlier um so i think we'll give it an eight and maybe a seven for attention to detail Uniqueness has got to be a 10, right? Fun, it's got to be at least an 8. I think this is an A tier level. Like, where would this fit? It's better than Skate Park. I think it's better than Warehouse. I think it's better than Downhill Jam and Downtown. This is funny because this is like the... Downtown gives you more options. There's a lot more to play with, but the flow of this... What you're getting, the bang for buck is so much higher in Roswell, though. Like, I don't know if it's necessarily better than streets or mall. Like, it's probably this is probably a B tier level, huh? B? Yeah, I agree with that. So it's an eight, right? And there you go. That's our Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One tier list. We did it. It only took us three and a half hours. Claps in the chat. It's weird, weird how I really like skate park and Burnside in one and two, but they don't. Yeah, exactly. And so that being said, this tier list, I've said it a million times, but this is specifically for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater one levels in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater one. We're going to do Tony Hawk two uh, another day and uh, three and four eventually, hopefully. Um, and then eventually we'll get to Thug Pro. So we'll do one, two, three, four, Thug, Thug 2, American Wasteland, and then Thug Pro. And then Thug Pro will rate all those levels how they play in Thug Pro. And so when we get to Tony Hawk 3, we're going to rate the extra bonus levels that were featured in Tony Hawk 1 that are in Tony So the, they all need to be rated individually because the games get mechanics added later into the series that change the way levels are played and uh certain liberties are taken things are added things are removed 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 
um, you know, teleporters, wall rideable fences, grindable fences, uh, kinks on rails, uh, fixed wall ride flags, all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, I don't know if we're going to use this, but we'll see. I kind of wanted to do this on my own, but now I feel like I just did it with you guys here. So this was fun. And I think, uh, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube later, uh, definitely follow us on twitch.tv slash thps like comment and subscribe brothers and sisters thank you so much for your attention and your time and make sure you uh you know join the discord get involved what else can i say we're gonna do tony Hawk's pro skater 2 next uh eventually uh we need to take a break here and eat a sandwich while uh getting ready for a thug one script reading so uh thanks <laughs>